Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. Mm, it's an outdoor channel. I apologize for any wind. So check this out. It occurred to me that I have never done a video about my Heritage Rough Rider pistols, and I own several of them. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about their price point because that's the major sticking point for a lot of people, why they've gotten so popular, and the same reason why some people won't own one. Like my buddy Dawson, he won't have a cheap gun on the place. <laughs> it's a different story. All right. Um, I'm going to talk about how customizable they are because they've started doing something pretty cool with these guns. And then we're going to shoot some of them. Like I said, I have several of them, different sizes. I'll shoot some of them. And then we will compare them to a Ruger Wrangler. I got one of those here. And I have an old Colt frontier scout basically these are built just like the old colt i don't know if the colt was the first one to have that design but these you can look at them and all of the screws are in the same spot the only thing heritage did is add a safety and anyway so first what i like about these guns all right a lot of times these guns are a hundred dollars sometimes they're a hundred dollars but you have to buy another gun to buy this one for $100, which is good enough. I've gotten a couple of them that way. Um, sometimes they'd run a deal with just the gun for $100. That's kind of rare, um, but, you know, not impossible to find. But this very pistol right here, I think this one's got the 6-inch barrel, maybe 6.5. Um, we got a local store here in Madison, Alabama, that you can buy this gun almost every day for $119. So, it is a cheap gun, and they are somewhat cheaply produced. Um, I have read where some people will take this gun apart, and they'll polish all the parts that need polished, and they'll take the rough edges off where they need took rough edges off, and they'll make a better gun out of it. Me, personally, I have several of them, and I have never done that to any of them, and they shoot every shell I put in them every single time. But we'll get to that in a minute. Secondly... So, it's a cheap gun that anybody that wants uh, a 22 to plink with, by the way, 22, my favorite caliber, and nowadays, about the only caliber that a, your regular old working class person can afford to shoot regularly. So, um, the 22, I absolutely love it. Thirdly, a lot of these come with plastic grips. I have replaced all my plastic grips with different kinds of wood grips. A set of grips for these is somewhere between $20 and $35, depending on what you get. Um, but something they've started doing pretty more recently. First of all, okay, this part's not recent, but you can order a Magnum cylinder for any of these guns, which is pretty cool. Now this 9-shot, let me put it away. The 9-shot for that money for $200 came with both cylinders. But this one did not come with both cylinders. But for, I think, $29.99, you can get on the Heritage website and order a Magnum cylinder. So you got a cylinder for your Magnums and a cylinder for your regular long rifle and shorts, which is pretty cool because, see, I have a North American Arms pistol. It's called a Black Widow. For me to get the regular 22 cylinder for it, I have to send the gun back to them. It costs $50. They have to make sure I get the right cylinder, that it's timed and and all that stuff's right and I have to have a gun store send it and then pick it up at the gun store so that's probably another twenty dollars in shipping whereas this one I guess it's just my guess I guess they're all timed the same therefore you don't have to go through all that you just order the cylinder pop it in there you don't have to deal with serial numbers or anything it's pretty amazing so there again you can buy the gun for hundred and twenty dollars you can add a magnum cylinder along the way down the road somewhere whenever you want and then they have started producing these other cylinders this one here is gold i thought i don't know that i'll shoot out of these but that's pretty cool i think that one's 35 dollars they have produced this one they call this one blue it's 35 dollars I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I 
and they have this one that they call prism which is also $35 so um, what I like about these guns is yes they are cheap yes they are mass produced and not as high quality as some of your Rugers or your Colts or some of the other brands out there of revolvers but one thing I really like is they're highly customizable so you could buy the gun and then you know for a next birthday you could buy yourself a, uh, a cylinder a magnum cylinder and then you know get some of the more colorful cylinders you can get new grips if you have these grips for a while you could always change up and get different grips so highly customizable I really like that by the way this is a 16 inch barrel and we will be shooting this in just a moment all right so let me get the camera set up let's do some shooting by the way when I do the shooting, I'm going to do a tremendous amount of editing to keep all the boring stuff out. Because I've already talked too much, and I know y'all don't like talking. You like action. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. So I will be propping on this table today because we're trying to see how well the gun shoots, not how well I shoot. And I'm Chris from Key Farm, not uh, Chris, world's greatest uh, shooter guy. So um, this is the Heritage 4.5-inch barrel. I happen to know that my particular gun shoots low, so I'm going to go ahead and compensate for that, and uh, we'll see what happens. Shooting everything today at 50 feet. All right, y'all, here's my first six shots. By the way, that one was already there in the red. So, um... Full disclosure, since I want you to know about these guns, I was aiming up here at the top of the page, which is five inches high, just at 50 feet. Now, if I wanted to correct that, I could correct that, but I haven't took time to. So there's my first shot, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth over here on the edge of the page. So, really, it's not a bad group for a four and a half inch barrel, but if, had I been shooting at the dot, I would have been shooting in the dirt. So, there's the four and a half. All right. Up next is the Rough Rider 22, six, six and a half inch barrel. Not sure which one. Don't have a tape measure handy. So, six shots out of it. I have two of these and I don't know which one's which. So, I don't know if this one shoots high or low or, I think these two are pretty good. Let's check it out. All right, so this one's shooting a little bit to my left, or I'm shooting a little bit to the left. Let me see, there's one, two, that's a double hole. So I got five shots, and this one looks like number six. I don't know if you can see it right there, but that looks like number six to me. Uh, so uh, if you were squirrel hunting, you'd have to aim a little bit to the right. All right, y'all, so we shot the nine shot. I'm sorry, we shot the six shot with a six inch barrel. Now we're gonna shoot the nine shot with a six inch barrel. Let's go take a look. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the page. And I see some over here that look a little bit suspect that are real close. So, huh, I ain't hit the dot yet. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. All right, y'all. This one's got a little bit of different sights on it. And this one shoots low, so I'll be shooting at the top of the target. Sixteen inch barrel. Let's go take a look. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you can't cover all of them all up with your thumb, but if you had two thumbs, you could. Wait, I, I have two thumbs, but one of them's holding the camera. Nonetheless, a longer barrel certainly helps, and we even got a couple in the paint. But like I said, I was aiming up. I was aiming right there. So this one needs dialed in. 
The sights are adjustable, but I got the bottom sight as low as it will go. So my only other option is to elevate the front sight, and I haven't uh, done that yet. All right, on to the next one. All right, y'all, comparison time. This is a Ruger Wrangler. Out the door price, tax and all, two nineteen and some change. So, look, I'm I'm not in the gun world as deep as I'd like to be, but it appears to me that Ruger didn't have a revolver priced anywhere close to the Heritage, so they developed this. This is the direct answer from Ruger to the Heritage. So let's shoot it and see what happens. All right, y'all, as much as I'd like to blame this on Ruger, I think this falls squarely at the feet of yours truly. They're at the bottoms, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all on the paper. They are just not all together. Remember, Chris, not world's greatest shooter guy. All right, let's drag out the Colt and see what happens. All right, y'all, last gun up today is the Colt Frontier Scout. Let's have a look. All right, y'all. Got one in the paint, got one off to the left, got three grouped together really well, and got one at the bottom. Should I reiterate one more time? Uh, not world's greatest shooter guy but if we look through at some of these other papers you know some of them are real similar all right y'all so wrapping up right there is the 16 inch barrel uh heritage that we shot that one there's a six and a half well no i think it's just a six i believe that one's a four and a half there's the nine shot six there is the Ruger Wrangler, I believe that's a four inch barrel. And there's the Colt, uh, four, probably the four inch barrel. We did leave that one out because it's identical to that one. So if you look at the cards down there, they're all very similar. You can't point to any certain one and say, well, this one's a whole lot better than that one. Because face it, it was all me shooting and for the third time in this video, I'm going to mention that I'm Chris from Key Farm, not Chris, world's greatest shooter guy. So, look, if you're just out plinking cans with the family, or maybe you got to take care of a varmint every now and then. I used to have chickens at the barn, and, you know, other wild animals would try to make my chickens their meal. And we kind of had to handle that situation. So, look, a heritage is great for a little knock-around gun. Uh, the reason I have so many, so when the family comes to shoot, everybody's got their own gun, and, you know, we can set cans up out there and, you know, plank all day long on 22 shells. Um, it's really the only shell now that you can still buy reasonably and can afford to shoot a lot of them all day long. So, I don't know if we really learned anything from this video other than 22s are real fun to shoot. And in my opinion, you can get a decent one for a little over a hundred dollars. And then look, you can jazz it up later with different cylinders and grips and you can really get you a nice collection. I got a friend that's got a uh, 1911 that costs more than every one of these guns put together. It's a really ni nice 1911 though. So, um, hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. I hope you enjoyed the Heritage Rough Rider video. Uh, love God, love people, and Consider watching some of these other videos. Bye.